Now I'm Dr. Hollywood. <laughs> or maybe Dr. Bollywood. I don't know. So. That no show be lonely. Tap in, tap in. Yana, Bombay, la lonely. Tap in, Yorba. Java, la lonely. Tap in. Get a chance, chance. So I was feeling very old and tired this morning, and I said maybe I won't go. Ah, that is okay. Got it. Share with me. Dr. Kruger said, but the monks laugh at your jokes. Nobody else laughs at your jokes, your terrible jokes, but the monks laugh. So I said I have to go back. Uh, <laughs> First thing we we do is we have to finish up some business from yesterday. Okay, so these these are a big things that the brain does that we're gonna study for the rest of the week the week. <coughs> but don't pay attention to the specific place that they're pointing to. Mm -hmm. That's not, we're not there yet. It's just somewhere in the brain, all these things happen. So, how many of you have heard of the word emergence in science? Emergence. Good. Okay. Can, can anybody tell me what it is? Is that emergent properties like Who do you want? Who do you want to pick? Yeah. So that say no. Then um Dutor Kara Dutor Mabu Shi Tuba Latin Kaja Sawa Tabumada Mabu Sopa Deni and Kara really catch it in me, but never chip it on each other. The the occurrence of a new thing from two different components coming together. Okay, that's a good that's a good part. And he gave examples of two atoms coming together, forming a totally new molecule. Okay. And likewise with other uh, components of the physical body. Good. So, the big surprise about emergence was the two atoms come together and make a molecule. Mm -hmm. But you can learn a lot about the physics of the atoms and still not be able to predict the behavior of the molecule. Physics <laughs> Anybody hear about the butterfly effect? Number two, butterfly effect says you can So a butterfly flaps his wings and 
Japan, and uh, two weeks later, there's a storm in Mexico. Pena ribila, ani chema lep dinde ke shobo yu bolat ten ne, ten ne samare da. Ribila chema lep dinde ke shobo yu dunda ni ekzik jela Mexico la ani kasure storm yore sudu yana chalung yana lungsup yore. This is a deterministic process, mm -hmm. cause and effect all the way. Cause, effect, cause, effect, cause, effect, thousands, millions of times all the way. The Kuni Boru Junjik Devashagi or is Junjik Devasam to Masse, any Ju Dubung ever Tiabache, the young Rangi Dubung ever Tiabache, Jenny, any deterministic Labu Namadigi, Nego Namadigi, Nego Chime, any Nelu. Tank have a chip, chicky 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 But even though it's cause and effect all the way, nobody can predict the whole sequence because it's too long and there's too many steps. So we can take a chicky or this baguette chicken leg to show up at the Mexico game. But now I'm going to show you what you can take. The scientists who study weather can tell us is it going to rain tomorrow or not? The next day or not? For about five days. Mm -hmm. But if I ask them, is it going to rain two weeks from today? They can't tell me. Too complicated, too many steps. Even though it's all cause and effect, it's too complicated. The biggest computer in the world can't predict whether it's going to rain two weeks from now. When I was a boy studying physics, my physics teacher was very arrogant. He would say physics will explain chemistry, chemistry will explain biology. Biology will explain the brain. The brain will explain psychology. And psychology will explain community and society. And history. <laughs> So all you have to learn is physics, and then you can explain everything else. <laughs> he was very sure of himself, but he was wrong. You have to know physics to understand chemistry, but some things you can only understand about chemistry by studying at the level of chemistry. Chemistry 
And so on all the way up, at every level there are laws. You can learn something from going down to the lower levels and go back up again. But at every level there are new laws and systems that you have to learn separately. And this is emergence and in full in science. Oh, the any emergence send in the Satungi Kaju Sajova, Satungi Neb, Satungi Nedan Sajova, the Sending Nalon and the Jaches and Debina and Satungi Nedan Diris. This is very true in the brain. You have to know some, some physics to understand the action potential in the neuron. You have to know some chemistry to understand the synapse. You have to know some, some biology to understand genes in the brain. But some laws about the brain are separate and their own level. They are emer emergent properties because the brain is too complicated to just Start from physics and chemistry and explain everything. Okay, so now I don't know how the word emergence was translated here. Does yeah. that the nature of something new coming out. Perfect. Yes. Good. Forget about the rest of the slide. Mm -hmm. Remember what we talked about for the mm -hmm. last five minutes and that word. Well, Jenny, the nature of something new coming out. Coming out. Yes. Emergent properties and emergent properties Okay. So now, now we better move on uh, and we're going to skip this discussion and go here. Remember from yesterday, we had the black box. Stimulus. Mm. Goes in the black box. Then the stimulus response comes out. Ah, the stimulus. Then, when you do quick change, labor, some some you labor that that day in the area. In a quick language, then you do quick change. You do quick change. And the June day, and the show the 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 June day, the home day, and the alien day, number three. But there's no black box inside my head. In a yeah, then the day this is just a day. Then, and the you did that you do. If we make a cut around here and take off the top of my skull, that's what's there, not this. Right. <laughs> Okay, so, and we're going to skip this slide and say, can we, how can we design experiments to to isolate how specific cognitive functions map on the brain. So, okay, so we're going to 
and there's various different ways to make hypotheses and test them. So what what is one possible way to to find out which part of the brain does what? Take resort to imaging devices. Okay, you can do imaging and see something about the shape, and you can do, you're looking inside like an x ray, inside the brain. You can see even if a person is alive. What else could you do? Yes, we have to find damaged brains and see where the damage is, how it is affecting the person. Okay, so I'm driving and I'm not paying attention. I drive into a tree, my head hits the windshield, and I have frontal lobe damage. Then somebody's going to look at me and see what, what are the functions that I lost. So these are the two, two of the big methods, two of the big three methods of understanding what the functions of different parts of the brain are. So this shows somebody speaking, but, but the X is back here. But what happens if, if somebody hits me with a, with a big stick back here? It will affect that person's language skill. In fact, the person's effect. It will affect. You 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 connected it, it will with affect the, the speech. Yeah, speech. Not so much. That's uh, uh, that's what the picture shows. But what is the I what see. is the occipital lobe okay, mostly okay. do? And the gang suna and the parna na tenda na shichena and keje shebe ta lebe chapjo ni la dewa yo re yo dong do stem beris, ra? Ina tenda ngune dewa yo maris. Visual cortex. Visual cortex. Yes. So I will start having problems with vision. Oh, did you do? Korang ni tang korang sih, nak di tongso ke le le shui insa, anda dapat ina, anda tongso ada dapat jangan cakar was. So the second way is recording 
and there are many different ways of recording. So this is, this is actually also mostly from the occipital lobe, but there's brain waves coming out. And it, we can detect by, by brain imaging, by EEG, electroencephalogram, and by recording other brain waves, what different parts of the brain are doing. Mm -hmm. And this would be somewhere in between the, uh, the visual uh, cortex and the occipital lobe and uh, the language interpretation area on the left side. And it's mostly on the left, not everybody. But if you're right-handed, it's mostly on the left. Even if you're left-handed, it's mostly on the left. But what, one thing that would sh surely make this light up uh, is reading. Uh -huh. This spot would light up during reading and, because why? And the gang's magina and the Tajik, the Ludor Seni. あや、ちょっと言うのたんに、あに、ちょっと先生。にばで、先度にやや、ちょっと言うから、だ、レコードしやで。レコードしや。ま、パーチェイクイナーで、カネイネ、こう、パーチェイクしや。あに、あ、こ
because I have sensation in, in the sensory motor cortex, not there. Mm -hmm. And then, and then there has to be a communication between the sensory motor cortex from my fingertips to the language area. Oh, so, Sonia's very good question here is would the occipital cortex also show activity? And we say light up during, read, uh, during braille reading. <laughs> So I have a hypothesis about how to answer Sonia. Might be wrong, but we can test it with brain imaging. My hypothesis is it would depend on how old you were when you became blind. Oh, okay. And whether you learn to read visually before you became blind or after with fingers. Mm. <laughs> So let's say I become blind today. Very bad, Very bad karma, right? <laughs> and then, from then on, I'm learning how to read with my fingers. Because I have a lifetime of, of reading visually, Probably I will have activation here as well as here and here. But if a child were born blind or, or became blind before learning to read, then maybe the activation would only be here and here. <laughs> So, Sonia asked a very smart question. Did you do Sonia Lagi Chiwa Pet Tramush Kusons? And you know from your studies, both in Buddhism and science, that smart questions are more important than smart answers. Today is another to announce you with Lomia Nayore, Tenegay Lomia Nayore, Tenegay Lomia Nayore, Tune, Yamus Kachuga Lana, Chiwa Tamuda, Lenta Munich, and Chiwa Tamundi Kachigris. <laughs> so, now, just a summary of the different kinds of, of, uh, of techniques. We have 
we have disruption. Uh, we have disruption by a brain lesion, brain damage. And we also have the possibility of disrupting now with, with electrical stimulation magnetic stimulation. If you put if you put an electrode in the in the brain. And you put a quite a bit of electricity. It will disrupt the activity in the spot where the point of the electrode is. So that's like almost like brain damage, the, but it's temp temporary. Now, here is a paradox, but very important. You don't have the term for paradox, maybe? Paradox is a little difficult. Yeah, that 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 if you use a very thin electrode, mm -hmm. almost mm -hmm. microscopic, mm -hmm. you will You can put the end of the electrode, the tip, inside one neuron. And then instead of disrupting, you stimulate the neuron to, to function. And you can do that with small, very small amounts of electricity for a few neurons in a specific area. There's also a new method of magnetic stimulation from outside the brain. Magnetic stimulation is a lot of people who are in the world. They are the world. Put a magnet here and send a signal very specific to a very small part of the brain and make more activity instead of disrupting. Mm. So we have disruption and then we have recording. Tapshi, Kayong Tone, Tanja in a re, Chesa in a tenting Tone Tiadris, 
Nibadi Sindunia, the Sindunia, the Queen, all the Pardiagina, Re Carigian, and the Tone, Quella Gazetandi, any tongue to be at the Nyatu, I said this. And these two things are two of the ways fMRI is functional magnetic resonance imaging. If you just remember fMRI, uh -huh. you can see what is happening in the brain with a very complicated set uh, of images that a computer puts together to make a big picture. Okay, and then there's the possibility, and then there's magnetoencephalography, MEG, which is another way of making an image of what's going on inside the brain. There's a lot of different ways of doing it. And then the and the What did you call this? Magnetoencephalography, MEG in English. Okay, MEG. And magnetoencephalography, it's so instead of using a magnet to stimulate mm -hmm. something in the brain, you're using a, a recording device that detects magnetism in the brain. Mm -hmm. You remember from physics of electricity that when there's electrical current flowing, it creates a magnetic field. Mm -hmm. Recording Okay, so now we're going to see examples of disruptions. Which hemisphere of the brain is this? Left or right? Correct. This is a, a bad brain damage. From a stroke. They any stroke says it. Rua, my Kasure, um, Pesce Dissani, Kasa, Tip to Gun Report, Tip Gun Pobble, then any Lebala Gun Pobble, get down to this. So the person had a blocked blood vessel and, and the brain tissue died right in this area. Jenny Targi Gulam Gani, Targi Gulam Gaza, and it did the Yugi, and a Lebe Pungupki Chasha to Zoni. This, per this person would have trouble with speaking, terrible trouble. Speech. Speech. Then they get the last year for you now, you're going to get the Nagi Nubal, you're going to get progress. Instead of saying, I have trouble speaking, they might say, Kaba B. Then they finish it. This person has damage to the another another stroke damaging the area where we understand language. Okay. 
Pagiti kaya siya siya, di kaya kodo, kodo kundi ba niyam juguri es. Pajo di kaya siya. They can, they can still speak, but it makes no sense. Pajo kundi juguri. They will, they would have also been affected in their speech. And they and would be, yes, they would be affected in their speech, but more so in their ability to understand. Kundu ini ni, ngaji judi kan leka boleh yaris. Ini yang suci yang kundu judi yang kalau sih boleh yaris, mana? Ani kata kaki kotor, wah kaki misi saya berdi kotor kan dibaca orang dia nyamir yaris. So this person can't speak, but you can tell them, would you please give me a piece of bread, and they can do it. Benda midi ni ngaji judi lah, senja boleh yaris. Kotor lah senja boleh mesa, ani. Pakai je sedih je, lab kedua ini lab tebu mana yang pak kalau lab saya ini, ini ya Kongres, mana ngal paling sekitar Islam na, cinca paling kiri Kongres. This person can can produce a lot of speech which doesn't make much sense, but if you say please pass me a piece of bread, they won't know what you said. Dan di kansa di ini lebih saya sedih lah, nyam jumpa pada ini, tip jumpa pada ini wangi, ngaji jebal le. Dapat dibaca ni sebab sila gua mari ini yang cukup cepat di kotor lah jangan pergi sah ini paling khusus kasut dalam ni kiri orang cik maris. Okay, so here we're gonna see an example of the other kind of disruption. Tanya anda deh zutur ki pesen macam ni. And that is the big cortical stimulation. Which the big what? The big stimulation of the okay. brain, uh -huh. which is disruptive. I see. So what you what you see in this picture, and we need we need to uh, to see better, I think here. Um, this is an operation which uh, the person's brain is exposed. Di saya juga cakap res, ni lepas berkaca, kali kaca saja res, kali kaca saja ni, ni dicari res. And the, and the, there are electrodes on the surface of the brain which are stimulating the, the brain. Jadi lepas kaca, kaca ber, ni ngui, si ngui deh lah, long ni mampu tang saja res, long ni tang wah dia jenuh long tang ni, ni ya long gaya res. Di, tapi sekarang yang cik, suk new suk, cerita tang ni, kalau cerita cik awak main ba, cuci cuci gaya res. Okay, so here is a in, in Lord. Twenty. Oh, it's playing. This oh, is a and the sound. Half mouth. Twenty. Here is a jab. Oh, it's a macro. This is a after plus. Here is a well. Here is a G. You might say that's the same person who is yeah. operated in. So this is a tracing of what what the electrical activity is and what the what the speech is. They're trying to say these words in English. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Normally they can say the word right, mm -hmm. dear, mm -hmm. but with the stimulation they say the word wrong. They said, and they said something like "dri," or I, what? It, what they said? This person said "dri," I think, or yeah. So instead of saying "dear," they put the stimulation on on the language, a speech area of the brain, and the person said "dri" instead of "dear." So I don't know how you do that in Tibetan, but it's a it's a mistaken yeah. uh, pronunciation of the name caused but by the, caused by the brain stimulation in a very particular spot. Benar, dengar kau lah. 
Ani kita dan dewa ini yang sahaja nyesung suci lah, ane lawan itu ni. Ani tad di tenje, di kahre saja selab di. Ani syawal par tenje, ane di kahre selab di. Syawal es labu yer labya. Di tengah tu kaya di syawal es malap cek, penan syawal la dia rujuk na. And there's again of the lab jet and the other lab to go malice. So here's an example of of recording. Tadi tangi tangi di lutur ki pece lutur chitandi. Rwa tatanda di chatin dunia dunia chia di record chitandi. Parta the dek toni. We are gonna show people just like the experiments you do. Show people pictures of faces and pictures of houses. Pena mila ani parte jet. Very fast like we did yesterday with the with the words in oh. different colors. Kesang and the Tendota and it's Tenda Ming Tendota and the Sundog Ming than the day, Temiba. What the Temina Sijan and Duchen and Mig Parten, Jala, Kambat and the day, Duchit Mig Dimila and Tajisha called Tengris. And so what we find is very, very interesting. Because there is, first of all, there is activation in both. For both of these, the first activation is in the visual cortex. But then, where does the signal go from? From the first, from the first response of the visual cortex, it turns out if it's a face, there are certain areas of the brain that specially light up when you see a face. In that case, the ninth of the career is done. Then the penna me tomba dengi ne kangbala so dene dengi ne remu remu jin dengi ne. Then be kala thome ki changu yonsa di thoya ki chala jinsa an thongzo lechun yungo aris. Then, ini dajin di kawal dugu yosa di, ini minda yoris. Karena taya di tombat ini, na an tombat dan jawa yukin, tombat ngosia dan jawa yukin ke lebih cagu yoris. Then ala dajin dugu yoris betal, an khusus saya mures. So this is kind of what you're looking at here, the bottom of the brain, and there are two face areas in the temporal lobe, and they're recording from those areas. Using fMRI, they want to see the activity. They're actually looking at the at the amount of of blood flow and oxygen flowing to these two areas when you look at a face or a house. Jadi, tanda di lebar tangan kita pergi, anda kena lagi semua nasi c, tid c, tid itu saya langsir betul, tid nama terus, rawat tid nama. Di ini tempat dia juga ini. Chajin di, ani tambah di tongsol lecun cini, ani tambah koran di mixer dewa yuse saja tu tu, ya lain gores, ya ya sese gores di, anda di celi dubar gi parja gi gores, celi dubar tu ane parja je, ani kasur gores, canggui mui badi, sese gores, celi dubar parja tu kan kerja gui gores na, dewa yuke saja di nalo la, ani solong jug ni, solong jug balat dia ni, anu kau ya sese gi, solong jug jug be canggui tinggi gores, di tempa di canggui Cenggu korang ini, cuma solung pak jugu ibe. Cenggu itu ni, entah ya sev, nama je nunggu ibe ni. So this bright color means very big activation in the face area, in this face area. Pake mixer ni, kalau log ni, sev masih uji tu yang ni, pake cenggu itu cenggu ni nama tu nunggu ibe ni. And this is the tracing of the amount of activation. Di, ini kalau activation tu juga la cenggu, cenggu mangle. Guju, ya selong ke ni buat cecung, di ni ya cuma caya, cung 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 caya, cuma dua cung 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 tu caya di, ni selong ke ni buat ke, tadi darbang di, di pari ke darbang di selong ni buat caya tu des. So, the F means face, and the H means house. Hmm, di nalo le F ta H caya di, tempat tendu di des, H tendu kala kampar wa house, kampat tendu di des, ni. Rasa kampat ini juga, tombak tinggi tinggi lah, peperi itu tuan nampak ni. Face, house. Tombak, kampat. Face, tombak, house, tombak. Face, tombak. Is it how much activation in this area? You look at the graph and tell me what this graph means. Jadi ini tuan, tanda tanya di, tanya di tombak, tanya kampat, tanya kunci lem, pemah pemah jenteng kor, wah. 
Pema Pemas in Tengu, the Tasadi, and then Tongba de Deva, you say, Nini Chagu, Chashi de la Gujugi, Nis Selong in the Bahasa Tungu Tangira. Did I do any part did Hungu Yuris? Today is a number of Suronas. What is the question? What does it mean? Like we did with the graph on the blackboard yesterday. You look at this, I want you to look at this picture and tell me what it means in words. Today is a daddy graph race and the Tigri race. Tigri is a Pagi. Pagi ke number de thiri na nun sungu yezan. Tan number jo de thiri la sei ne pagi kare jungu do sen sungra nas. La. Oh yeah. When one sees the face, there is more activation. When one sees the face, there is more activation in this particular place. Yeah, in that particular action. Right. Isa tongbo tongbo do sungu mangbo do se de sungu kasa kala meme che mi suka ne pagi sungu de na sungu mangbo do se. Here was. We call it the face area now. Face area. But when I was first studying the brain, nobody knew there was a face area. Experiments like this made us realize that there is a face area. Did you in Tombesa Guisin, Tombesa Guise, Minkona Yomare, and in Wilson, the Tombesa Guisin, Lagago Yomaris, and she would choose it in the Pajetan, and it does it, choose it in the Junior Taji Seven Dijun, and Nedan in the Tonyon, and it Pogay, and it Tombesa Guisin. So that's an example of how brain science has worked in the real world in the last, in my lifetime. Today is a Lebes Henrigi, Lebes the brain science, Lebes Henrigi, and the Munera, and it took us over it. Why should there be a special area for faces? Because one has to recognize the faces. Because you have to recognize the face, you have to recognize the facial expressions. Mm -hmm. And what's what's more important in life, recognizing a face or recognizing a house or a car or or a donkey? Re, tomba ngwa shen gure, tomba ngwa shen ba zam damase, tomba nam ju karika du ha gwa gure. Ta ina tomba ngwa shen ya dang, kamba ngwa shen ya, tomba ngwa shen ya dang, motor da kol di langkor da dende ngwa shen ya niwu shen na karika shen gure. So facial evolution produced facial recognition oh, is more important. Right. That <laughs> for evolution sure. produced a special area for processing faces very fast. Okay, now we're using a slightly different recording method. Once again, we're looking at the left hemisphere. And we're looking at hearing a spoken word. And here we're going to look at reading a hearing, a reading a, a written word, a seeing, a, seeing a written word. And we're going to follow the activation in these two cases very fast. Can, can I just click and make these work? Yeah, there it is. See that? Let's do it again. I won't make you remember it, but... So you're hearing a word spoken. 
Nagi Jebik Tachi Kogoyores. Tat could do any Lepeshashi de Zula. I say Tashi delay. And this is what happens in your brain. <laughs> it goes to the visual, to the auditory cortex, the hearing cortex, and spreads to the language areas. Anything happening in the occipital lobe? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Now let's look over here. We're going to see a, a written word. Now tell me in your own words what happened in the second picture. It is more widespread than the before. It's more what? More the activity is more widespread. More widespread, but yeah. what, in what way? Yeah. Where does it start? In the occipital area. It starts in the occipital area in the visual cortex and then spreads to the language areas. So, so we go through the ear to the language areas. Oh, we, or we go through, through the eyes to the language areas. This is called fun with brain science. The fun with brain science. Fun. Did I have a cigarette? It's fun, right? It's cool. Yabudua. Ningjabuda, check Tonan Kubur's door. Is that one to say that they were Tonang in Negab Lavres? Some some you were Negajira. Okay, so this I think is the summary. We yesterday we talked about boundary extension, difficult to understand unless we assume the brain is transform is carrying out a cognitive process which is transforming what we see. We saw that with the drawings of the fork. Mm -hmm. Put in a part of the fork, comes out a whole fork. Mm -hmm. That's the transformation, the cognitive transformation called boundary extension. Boundary extension boundary extension Okay, we're gonna skip this uh, next one about goals. But here, here's the uh, the list of, of uh, vocabulary words that, they mean, see, that you're supposed to know. Uh, Except, I um, I have. Uh, let me see if I can show you. Is it? I think, yeah, so we did not discuss this, cross that off, uh -huh. uh, you don't have to learn that. We did talk about reductionism and emergence, so reductionism is that idea that my physics teacher told me uh -huh. that you start from the bottom with physics and everything else you can understand from just from there that's uh -huh. reductionism reducing the brain and life and everything to physics and emergence is the opposite idea that yes you can understand some things about life from physics and chemistry and some things about the brain but 
in the end, the brain also has its own laws. Psychology has its own laws. Society has its own laws. And the Tanya in the reductionism, the emergence. Emergence, and the Tanya for language, which is saying, Ba, Saturn and Shiba. Dig Dojo, the reductionism, and the Tanya and Pesha, and the Nandun Shabris, Nandun Kagrilana, and then we'll come Seripa. We'll come Gala Jiva, Gain Korangi. Gain Korangi, we'll come Gala Digi, and then Tatula, and then we'll come Shabina, and Kangashan Uris. Ganganyang work on duty or Lavira or this and good. The Karsu was not under the day in the Tomshi Mavitus Labdua. Tomshi Korean on La Yanaka, Mala, Kagimushi, Tomje, Yala, Namlas, and he shipju Chebegone, Yala Jengi, Mala, Tek or Chi Chimber Shes to Yuber Tawas. The Count here, Kangamago, Yagota, Kangashan will say. Tomshi Korang on duty will say. That did a dozo the emergency at the Saturn and she's doing Malagashi, Kishu Nam, Mansi Tinji Shigla. Member, part there, said to Timber Denise. Magilla, the other year, the Yuzi Kanga, the Kang Tang Kanga, while Patu took over Maris. Now for a foreign lay, and it was also Savatim in the Yoris at this. Okay, so what time?